I'm in the process of designing an authorization module for a distributed system and I came upon this question, very basic question and that question is when we make an AJAX request does the AJAX request automatically send all the cookies for the domain to the web server or do we need to do something special to do that? It's a very basic question and the answer to that is yes, it sends all the cookies automatically without us having to do anything. At least that's what the AJAX method of the jQuery library does. But I wanted to just make sure I could either have posted this question on Stack Overflow or just made up an example to test it. I chose the latter, so I made up a small example to test and I thought it would be nice to post it on YouTube. Just, this isn't anything fancy, it's a basic, one of those basic truths, one of those basic simple things that we often forget that are rudimentary but essentially critical to designing anything big. So to test it, I made up this simple ASP.NET MVC website. I'll run it to show you what it does. I start with a reminder of why I made this example and this text explains what I just did to you. You can pause the video and read it later. If I click the login button in this example, it goes to the server and the server sets a cookie with some random value and sends it back to the client. And if I click this button, it just makes a random post request to the server and that gets a quote a motivational or spiritual insightful quote from the server. This is the code behind it. I'll stop the website first. Here's the HTML. I've got two buttons and then the script below simply computes the base URL for the application. This URL is necessary so that I can make Ajax requests to the website without having to hard code the URL. And it puts the URL in this server base URL variable inside the window object. Then I have a reference to jQuery and a custom script. And this custom script has event handlers for the login button and the get message button. The login button when clicked simply makes an Ajax request to the server slash login. It makes a post request. On the server side the request hits the login controller and the index action. This guy simply creates a cookie called x foo auth and puts a random value ABCD in it. It ensures that the HTTP only attribute is set on the cookie and it sends the cookie with the response as a JSON. I'm sorry, it sends the cookie as a response and then sends a random JSON boolean value true. So if I click the login button, it will set the cookie. The other button, get message from server, when clicked, invokes this method, which also makes a request to the URL slash home slash message which is the message action on the home controller it makes a post request and whatever it receives if it receives something it sets that as a text of some div called message if it doesn't receive any data or has some kind of an error then it prints the text error and it shows the div that has the message let's look at this message action of the home controller. The message action simply gets a quote from some static data which is a bunch of quotes lying around globally application-wide as static data and it returns the string. The static data class simply has a list of quotes and it traverses through cyclically over these quotes and returns each one turn by turn. So that's the application. What I'm looking for is what happens 
when I make an Ajax request, does it send all the cookies or not? To, to see that in action, I'll run the application and open developer tools. At the very outset, I see that the storage does not have any cookie named auth. If I send any request and get a quote, this would send an Ajax request to the action that gets a quote. But since we don't have any cookies yet, it shouldn't send the cookie X foo auth. Let's look at that. I get a quote from the server. I look at the request I made and check the request headers and it has only one default cookie. I think that's I don't know, I think it looks like a global, uh, it looks like a Google Analytics thing, but I'm not sure what it is. Maybe ASP.NET sets some random cookie, but this is definitely not the cookie we set. Let me do that again. I get another quote and I inspect the request headers for this one and I see I still don't see my own cookie called X foo auth. I check the cookie storage again. I don't see our cookie. But let me send a login request this time. And as soon as we send the login request, I see that our cookie was created for the domain localhost. And it has a lifetime of session. And that's the random value. And it is an HTTP only cookie. Now if I clear off all these requests and I get a quote from the server and check the request headers, it includes our cookie x foo auth a b c d e. If I get any other quote from the server, every subsequent request would include this cookie. Let me do that a couple of times just to see. Each request has this cookie. But if I close the debugger and launch another instance of the application, this time our storage should not have the cookie x foo auth. It doesn't have it. And any request I sent to the server will not include the x foo auth cookie. So that again demonstrates that an Ajax request will automatically send all the cookies to the server without you having to do anything. As you can see, I didn't do anything special in this handler. Kabir ji kehte hain. पड़ पड़ जग मुआ तो पंडत भया निको ढाई अक्षर प्रेम के पड़े सो पंडित हो बुल्ले शाह कहते हैं इसी बात को पड़ पड़ आलम फाजल बने हो पड़ पड़ आलम फाजल बने हो कदी अपने आप नु पड़ आई नहीं भज भज वड़ दे मंदर मसीती कदी दिल अपने तू बड़े आई नहीं इमे रोज शैतान नल लड़ना है कदी नफ्स अपने नल लड़ आई नहीं खुले आसमानी उड़दियां फड़दा है ओ जड़ा घर बैठा उन्हें फड़ आई नहीं 